Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and today's lesson is created to respond to a viewer named Karen who wrote to me and said, Danny, I need your help with a pivot table report. My boss is asking to see the change in units for 2008 compared to the current year, 2010. The change in units as well as the percentage change from 2009 to 2010. All right, here is how I can solve Karen's problem. Notice that I've sorted the data in column A, so in date sequence. So my earliest date is January 1st, 2008. If I use the keyboard shortcut, control end, now I can see that this goes through September 30th, 2010. So we have 3,500 rows. Let's use control home to get back up to the top. Perfect for a pivot table. Select one cell, go to the insert tab of the ribbon, choose pivot table. Now I'm going to create the pivot table on this worksheet. So I'll change this, select a cell, and now let's begin to create the pivot table. Notice over here in column A that I do not have the year. Well, there's a great tip that you can use. We can create the year simply in a pivot table. What I'm going to do is select the date. Now I have all of the unique dates over here in the row. What I want to be able to do is select one cell and then come up into the group area. I don't want to group the selection. I want to group the field. What I want to select are months and years and then click OK. Now we don't need the months which is still the date field but I now I have the years. Now rather than having the years running down vertically in the row what I want to do is move them horizontally in the column. I also will not need the grand total in this report so I right mouse click and I'm going to say remove grand total. All right, now I'm ready to come back to the pivot table, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Unit Shift and drag it three times down into the value. So drag it first, drag it the second time, and drag it the third time. Now notice over here that when you drag a field more than once into the values, you get a values label. So the values labels are coming across horizontally in the column. That's not what I want. For this report, I want to see those values coming down vertically in the row. So I just moved it from the column down here into the row. All right, now let's go to work on each of these three uh, sums of unit shift. For the first one, I'm going to go into Value of Field Settings, and really it's a simple matter of just changing the name. And let's change the number format to make it easier to read. Let's use number with zero decimal places and a thousand separator. Click OK, click OK. So there we have our first summation. We called it total unit shipped, and this is showing me the total number of units shipped in each of the three years. Now let's go to work on the second summation. This will be the change in unit shipped. So once again, I'm going to select value field settings, and I'm going to change this up here. we're comparing to the year 2010. Now, here's what we're going to do. Rather than summarize by, come over here to show values as. In the show values, I want to show the values as from the drop down, the difference from. So when I click difference from, notice I have a base field and a base item. So the base field will be that new field, that virtual field I created called years. And I want to compare it to the item, which is the year 2010. And finally, I want to go back and I want to change the number to once again be zero decimal places with a thousand separator. Click OK, click OK. So now we can see the change in units from 2010. Notice that, of course, there's no change from 2010. We're comparing 2010 to 2010. But when we compare 2009 to 2010, remember 2009 is a complete year. So looking at where we ended up the complete year in 2009 compared to where we are year to date in 2010, we have 45,774 more units shipped in 2009. Likewise for 2008. All right, our final summary will be the percentage of difference. So once again, I'm going to choose 
value field settings I'm going to follow many of the same steps I'm going to change the name all right and once again we're going to go over show values as from the drop down rather than difference from this time it's going to be percentage difference from we have our same base field base item so the base field will be years the base item will be 2010. Now notice that this is a percentage so Excel actually is one step ahead of us so it's going to show us as a percentage but let's show it with one decimal place. Click OK, click OK and there you go. Now we have a nice neat compact report that shows us the total number shipped in each of the years the change in the unit, so from 2008 to 2010, 2009 to 2010, and now we also have the percentage change. So finally we can add in the customer. So now we have the customers and the total numbers of units shipped as well as the change in units for each of the customers. So you notice how the gotcha step there is when you click and drag down the summation more than one time you get values label I moved it over here into the rows and final changes will be let's change this to be years and let's change this down here to be customers all right there you go Karen there's your report so you can see tips that I create that are just like this in my series, The 50 Best Tips. I have five DVDs. Here I'm showing the covers for three of them, Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. And I'll see you in the next lesson.